Welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, I will show you how you can make a real life skewed game using the ESP32 cam module and OpenCV. The red light green light game was a part of a famous Netflix series called Skewed Game. So this project is based on the same game. We will try to build a replica of red light green light game using the ESP32 camera module and Python programming. Here we will capture the frame of the person moving using ESP32 cam. When the red light is turned on and if there is any motion detected in the live video stream then the person is dead or the game is over. In case there is green light the person needs to move. This basically means red light equal to no motion and green light equal to motion. To get started one must have sound knowledge of python, image processing, embedded system and IoT. In this project, we will understand how to detect the motion of a person and what all requirements are needed to run the Python program. First, we will test the whole Python script with a webcam or internal camera of a laptop. Later, motion detection program is implemented with the ESP32 camera. So let's see how we can implement this entire project. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good then use the service of next PCB. You can select the board size, any shoulder color marks that you want including something like red and green. You can select the PCB thickness and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for so more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy, just go to nextpcb.com. Then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your gutter file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is an ESP32 based camera module developed by AI Thinker. The controller is based on a 32 bit CPU and has a combined Wi Fi, Bluetooth or BLE chip. This is the OB2640 camera for photography, video or any other image processing applications. The board also supports an SD card of up to 4GB that can be used to store images and video. The board doesn't have an onboard programmer. So in order to program this board, you can use any type of USB to TTL module. Please follow this connection diagram for programming and use. The programming method and different modes of operation has been explained in earlier videos. Now let's move to the project part. In this game, what is the actual logic? Well, the logic is we want the user to know that he need to keep moving. In this case, we show him this image of green light. So he has to move in a specific direction. And once the red light is shown, he needs to stop and should be in no motion. We need to take care that the exactly stationary position of a person is not possible. Hence, that should not let the person die. So this minor bugs and error are avoided in the code part. Let's understand the working algorithm for motion detection. So these are the landmarks created using a media pipe python library. The library will detect all the landmarks pointed in the image. For example, for the landmark of 24 and 23, left hip and right hip are indicated. For example, 24 and 28 and also 23 and 27 uh, these are the right hip and right ankle left hip and left ankle so if the distance between them is not changing the person is static in case the distance is changing the person is moving now let's get started with this code for this, we are using a media pipe. A uh, media pipe is a software that is used to indicate the landmark. For image processing, we are using CV2. Using NumPy for numerical calculation. Time is something that comes along with the inbuilt library. This playground library is for playing audio. In order to download all this library to your computer, go to your command prompt. Type pip 
install media pipe so in my case all the requirements are satisfied similarly we can do for the opencv as well so this is also satisfy for numpy type pip install numpy this is again already downloaded now type pip install play sound this will download the audio player library which will play a song that's it we have downloaded all the required libraries right now we will be capturing video through the laptop camera for the external camera change this 0 to 1 right now for the internal camera we gonna keep it to 0 these are the mathematical model used to calculate the distance between angle and hip this is the class in the media pipe library that gives all the poses and orientation here we are using two images that is image 1 and image 2 that i showed you earlier in this loop section the camera will continuously be capturing the frame from the camera after this we are doing some action to check whether someone is visible in the frame or not. So, if no one is in the image, it will show you, you are not visible at all. And if someone is in the frame, it will try to detect the changes. If you have crossed all the windows, then surely you have won the competition. So, that's it. Now, let's run the code. So, the window has popped up indicating you are or you should be visible in the frame. So, when the light is green, I need to keep moving. And when the light is red, I need to stop. In case there is any motion in the red light, it will say you are dead. Well. The good news is the code is working perfectly fine. Now let's implement this using the ESP32 cam. What we have to do is we have to import the images from the ESP32 cam. Regarding the ESP32 library part, you can download this library by your Sunny and add it to the Arduino IDE using the library manager. Now Open your Arduino ID and go to the examples and then open this Wi-Fi cam example sketch. In this code, update the Wi-Fi SSID and password. And go down and modify a few lines. We don't require BMP and MJPEG. So comment on this line as they are unnecessarily going to occupy the space. So, we'll use cam.lowjpg and cam.highjpg. Connect your ESP32 cam to your computer. Then go to tools, select the ESP32 developer module and also select the COM port. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. My code is uploaded now. Remove the IO0 jumper from the board and press the reset button. So here we get the camera OK message and an IP address link. Copy this link and paste it on your web browser. So you can see my hand image is captured here. For high resolution image, change this link to high.jpg. So you can see the image size is increased. Now copy this link and go to the modify python code. This modified python code can be found in the website article. In this line, replace this link with the copied link. Now we are ready to run the code. So run the module and stand in front of the ESP32 camera. Make sure you are in the frame. In the red light, please stop. And when there is green light, keep moving. When you make a slight mistake, you are dead.
Now again run the code and let's play the game again. So this is how the system and the projects works. The project is very interesting and inspired by the skewed gamma red light green light. All the project details including the library, images, sound, python code can be found in the how to electronics website article. You can use all of them for free. And if you have any question, please comment down in the comment section below. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.